Hello everyone, very good morning and welcome to the ABAP on HANA Extra session. In this session, we are going to learn how to compare the version in CDS. So there are two ways. We will discuss both the ways. First way, using the ADT on Eclipse or HANA Studio. If you are using any of these, then what you will have to do, you have to open your CDS and then you will have to right click and then you have to choose the option compare with. If you do so, you will get the option like this. You will have to then choose the revision history and then one of the revision you have to select and you will be able to do the comparison. I will show you in practical. Now, using the technique two, we can, uh, under the technique two, we can use the GUI and in GUI, we can go to the SC11 and there we can give the SQL view name. That means the SC11 view name over there. And uh, then we can uh, double click on the CDS uh, uh, DDL and we can go to the utility then and then we can compare the version. This also I will show you in demo. Technique uh, two, I will not uh, recommend you to use because this is not convenient. The technique one is the best one. You can always go with. Also, technique two is not going to be applicable for CDS view entity because CDS view entity will not be having the SC11 view. Okay, so technique one is the evergreen technique which we can use for the purpose of comparing the version. So let's go into the HANA Studio and see step by step. So I am here under the HANA Studio. Let me open. Uh, the CDS which I have created for this particular purpose and click on this OK button. Now my CDS is opened over here, right click. So I'm talking about the first technique. Right click over here and click on this compare with and click on this revision history. There are three revision of this. The current one is the active which you are able to see over here. The previous uh, are two version one and these are the version two. So let's suppose if I want to compare with the version one, you just have to double click over here and here you can see that these are how you are able to see. That means in the version one, you were having these codes and in the version two, you are having these codes. That means these are the extra added code, which is slightly highlighted by the Eclipse. So this is how we can compare in HANA Studio or edit on Eclipse. Now, let's uh, go into the GUI. We will discuss about the second option, how we can uh, do that. Go to SC11 over here and give the SC11 view name. So SC11 view, you can see that this is the SC11 view. I've just copied and pasted it over here. Click on this uh, display, double click on this uh, data definition and click on this utility, go to the version and version management right select let's suppose one and uh, you know version one and this active version if you want to compare click on this uh, things it will uh, be having you know the it will show you the differences between all the artifacts when you create the cds so ddl source is currently blank because there is no change ddl source text there is no change here also there is no change but here in the source code we have the change so here you can see that so it's telling See other things remain same. There is no problem, right? Under here, it's telling that uh, in the active version, these are the fields we are having, right? These these are the fields we are having in the active version. This is what the system is telling plus plus plus. And in the previous version, it's telling that these were the fields, right? So now this fields is updated and we are having like this. So here it is a little difficult to understand. It's not so user friendly, but in uh, HANA Studio, it's uh, very much user friendly. So I will recommend you to use the HANA Studio or edit on Eclipse, both the same, right? Here you will be having the same look and feel and it's uh, so easy to understand like what was the difference, right? And uh, what was the changes uh, between the two versions? Hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching this and increasing your knowledge be with me i will come up with a new topic in the next session bye bye take care